education, which brought me uh, to Brazil for the first time. The, today I'm going to speak about uh, uh, quantum phase transition in gate-induced superconductivity, which occurs in such a very somehow uh, weird uh, electrochemical surfaces, which turned out to be relatively, gives uh, relatively uh, clean superconductors. This is what I'm going to talk about. Here is the outline of my talk. I would introduce you our own technique, which is called uh, electric double layer transistor. And, the, uh, the, uh, and also the followed by the current status of the highly crystalline 2D superconductors, which is very much different from the uh, somehow uh, the uh, relatively uh, the two-dimensional two superconductors, which were investigated uh, last century. And the, uh, using this, after the somehow uh, discussion about the, uh, these uh, uh, two D superconductors, I'd like to uh, explain something about the phase diagram of two D superconductors, which is realized by gating uh, using this tr transistor, and the, uh, uh, followed by a summary. Here is the uh, uh, structure of uh, devices which we are using. The, uh, I guess everybody knows what uh, field effect transistor FET is. Uh, the uh, semiconductor and the gate is uh, sandwiching the insulators, uh, and the, by application of the gate voltages, uh, electrons are accumulated on top of the surfaces, which gives you a very nice two-dimensional electron system. However, with this uh, transistor, you are able to approach only up to 1 times 10 to the 13th uh, 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 carriers per uh, square centimeters, which is not sufficient to induce superconductivity. But uh, if you replace this gate in solid, solid gate insulator, oxide gate insulator, with uh, electrolytes such as ionic liquid, uh, you are able to form a very thin, extremely thin uh, uh, gate insulator, so-called gate insulator. And uh, the, because of this, you are able to increase the carrier density by uh, an order of magnitude, and uh, which allows us to reach uh, gate-induced superconductivity. And the, uh, this is a very uh, good method to induce uh, two-dimensional superconductors, which is formed at the interface between liquid and the uh, solid. But not only this is not only the uh, fabrication method to in, uh, make uh, to produce two-dimensional superconductors. This is a very weird, uh, uh, somehow, summary of the history of the 2D superconductors. This is thickness, and uh, this is the year of the uh, uh, achieved in the thickness superconductors. Of course, the su history of superconductor, 2D superconductors is very old, but the, uh, this shows only after 1980s. At, at this time, people are somehow uh, interested in the uh, quantum phase transitions, particularly using uh, deposited films, which have a uh, very disordered structure, including uh, granular or amorphous structures. But uh, in, the, in this uh, century, people are switching the mode to the highly crystalline 2D superconductors. For instance, uh, if you look at the atomic layers by MBE, lead, uh, 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 tantalum, and the uh, indium, the, all these are made in the, such a thin uh, level and which is the truly 2D superconductors. These are grown by MBE. And uh, these uh, 2D superconductors are followed by the interface superconductors. The LAOSDO uh, is the uh, very first uh, uh, oxide uh, interface superconductors, followed by uh, uh, LAO, uh, 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 this uh, Bozovich's uh, cuprate film. And nowadays, people are excited with the monolayer uh, uh, iron selenide on top of the strontium titanate. And we are working on the, this gate-induced superconductivity started with the strontium titanate. And uh, nowadays, we are uh, somehow uh, working on the somehow zirconium nitride chloride and MOS2. And not only this, uh, but people are making a uh, uh, monolayer film by exfoliation, mechanical exfoliation, like, like graphene, on the uh, niobium diselenide on BISCO. Uh, these are somehow uh, very representative uh, to the superconductors with a very high uh, crystallinity. So what is the outcome uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 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 of this uh, highly crystalline 2D superconductors in contrast to the disordered structure? Uh, 
in the in the very beginning, almost ten years ago, we are interested in um, uh, to find the uh, gate-induced superconductivity in these substances. But nowadays, we are a little bit interested, shifting to the interest of the physics. For instance, th since a very this is a somehow uh, highly crystalline system, the uh, pinning is rather weak, so which uh, gives us a chance to investigate the quantum phase transition. And also, this uh, the uh, this properties of 2D superconductors should reflect the uh, uh, crystal symmetry. Now we are working on the uh, system with uh, broken inversion spatial inversion symmetry. For one of the examples is the enhanced, uh, enhanced uh, upper critical field by a strong, uh, strong spin on the interaction. Uh, this is uh, also uh, this also gives us a chance to a uh, parity mixture effect due to the uh, uh, due to the uh, uh, spin orbit interaction, and also we are uh, interested in non reciprocal superconducting transport, uh, the, uh, which was realized in uh, Mori disulfide and uh, uh, tungsten disulfide nanotubes. So let me show you a very uh, somehow textbook like uh, gate induced superconductivity in Mori disulfide. This is the, uh, the very initial state without application of gate voltages. By simply apply applic simple application of gate voltages from zero volt to six volt, you are able to uh, uh, tune the electronic state from insulating state to metallic state, even to superconducting state, just by uh, tuning the voltages. And also you are able to measure the whole effect and the, uh, uh, which gives you a, a, a very nice uh, 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 superconducting phase diagram. With the TC shows a kind of dome-like uh, structure. The up to here, insulator to metal transition, you are able to reach uh, by the conventional field effect transistor technique. But uh, uh, in order to reach this superconducting region, you uh, inevitably need uh, this uh, uh, electrolyte gating technique. With this, uh, we are investigating the inve uh, uh, investigating HC2 effect. Uh, enhancement of HC2. This is, uh, this, uh, this is because the system we are working on, Mori disulfide, is uh, somehow also a, a broken inversion symmetry system, but not in the outer plane mode, but in plane mode. This uh, structure is uh, very similar to graphene, but as you see here, it's, it's, uh, 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 by, uh, uh, this element is different. This is Mori, this is uh, 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 sulfur. So this uh, doesn't have an uh, inversion symmetry in in-plane. So in-plane inversion symmetry is broken. So this gives you a very peculiar uh, uh, spin momentum looking. Here in the K, p k pocket, you have a down spin. Here in the minus K point, you have up, up, uh, up spin. And this intervary uh, uh, pairing gives you a, uh, gives a, a Cooper pair, and which produces superconductivity. And the spin, since spin is locked out of plane, I, even though you apply magnetic field uh, in plane, it's really difficult to sw uh, sp uh, uh, switch the uh, spin to in plane. That gives you a very high uh, 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 HC2 in comparison to the BCS power limit. Another example of the uh, uh, broken inversion symmetry is the non reciprocal superconducting transport. What I mean is that now you have a, a broken in-plane broken inversion symmetry in this system. If you, if you apply magnetic field out of plane, the current toward this direction and this direction is not equivalent anymore. This is called non-reciprocity or magnetochiral anisotropy. This is observed in this form. If you uh, uh, probe the, this voltage, the uh, uh, omega, uh, now we, are, we, we apply uh, some uh, very low frequency AC mode, and the uh, this linear uh, omega mode gives you a very normal magnetic resistance, but in the uh, second harmonic generation, two omega component, you give uh, uh, this uh, uh, finite signal, which is nothing but a non reciprocal superconducting component. This is uh, due to the coming from the broken inversion symmetry in the in plane, but we have another superconductor. Uh, which is a tube-like structure, the same mat similar material but a tubular structure, with a chiral uh, um, uh, way of uh, uh, wrapping up. Because of this uh, uh, chiral structure, 
uh, and if you apply magnetic field uh, pa parallel to the uh, tube, you, 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 this uh, current in this direction and this direction is not equivalent again. This is the effect uh, uh, also uh, detected by the magneto resistance, as you see here. This is the uh, uh, four Kelvin data. This is two Kelvin data, showing a very uh, somehow oscillatory behavior. This is an uh, uh, this is a uh, little pox oscillation. So in this signal means that the uh, little pox effect uh, uh, appears uh, uh, in overlap with the. Uh, 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 non reciprocal uh, component. So, th this we call a uh, chiral retropax effect, uh, which is peculiar to the nanotube structure. Let me uh, switch to my main topic on the quantum phase transitions in these two dimensional superconductors. Now, we, are wo we focus only on this uh, uh, tri uh, component uh, uh, layered materials. We cleaved it like a graphene technique and make a device using the uh, uh, the, the electrode using the electron beam lithography, we put the uh, ionic wicket on top of it and uh, make uh, some this kind of devices. And the, uh, uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, quantum phase transitions, but uh, we have to recall the very old history of the uh, metallic thin films, uh, which was investigated in the last century. This was uh, very. This is a very famous uh, 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 data. Uh, published by Alan Goldman's group in, this, in 1989, uh, which shows by, by changing the uh, thickness of the bismuth uh, amorphous film, they are able to switch from insulating state to uh, supercon uh, uh, superconducting state to insulating state by, across, by crossing the uh, just a narrow uh, metallic region, which is about the, uh, this value, uh, 6 kilo. This was explained uh, by the, uh, uh, the vortex glass state, oh no, no, uh, uh, vortex anti vortex phase state. This is a, a picture uh, uh, shown by the uh, Fisher's paper in 1990s. And uh, since this is a zero field magnetic field data, uh, uh, they are showing this change, oh no, this direction change. So the uh, uh, only single point of the quantum phase transition occurs. But uh, even in the uh, uh, under magnetic field, they are predicting the uh, uh, somehow both glass to uh, both insulator states at a single point. And if you reduce the disorder to uh, by replacing it with the uh, highly crystalline to the superconductors, hopefully we are able to approach to this limit. They 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 draw a very simple abricots of lattice uh, state in this cartoon, but. Uh, uh, surprisingly, we found uh, there is no uh, because of lattice state, also or no uh, somehow zero uh, resistance state in this uh, uh, H and T phase diagram. Zero resistance state was only seen in the without with without magnetic zero magnetic field. All these states are some, something like a quantum metals. In other words. Uh, 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 th this uh, behavior of resistance as a function of magnetic field was uh, very nicely explained by the uh, quantum creep model uh, proposed by uh, Alan Kaptronic group uh, in, in the, in also in the last century on molybdenum germanium superconducting film. This means that the uh, single metallic state, very narrow metallic state is bro dramatically broadened in uh, relatively clean superconductors, which is very much different from the amorphous uh, uh, superconducting films. And th in this state, a uh, quantum metallic state, is uh, nothing but, uh, nothing but uh, 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 vortex liquid. So in this phase diagram, vortex uh, uh, liquid state uh, covers almost all area of the uh, superconducting phase, which is very much different from this uh, cartoon, uh, which was published uh, by Fisher. So uh, we have, we, motivated by the, our discovery, by our own discovery, we uh, decided to go more details into the whole phase diagram of this system. The weakness of this plot, uh, first of all, is that this is this plot HC2 was defined only by the midpoint of resistance drop. So we decided to determine the uh, mean field HC2 using the D8, uh, UD uh, scaling formula. Uh, which is uh, somehow kind of a uh, textbook 
uh, in the uh, vortex community. And the, uh, this uh, HC2 was de determined by this scaling formula, and the uh, uh, HC2 was determined something like this. And the, uh, another thing we, we, we are interested in was the uh, somehow fluctuation effect. If you look at the uh, 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 RT curve at the zero magnetic field, you see uh, uh, somehow drop of resistance at the temp degree of uh, 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 30 uh, degree of, of Kelvin. This temperature is much, much higher than the HC2 uh, mean field. So uh, we decided to plot uh, this onset of uh, uh, fluctuation effect. This uh, large fluctuation effect is not too surprising because it is two-dimensional. So the, uh, and the also if you apply magnetic field, uh, this upturn comes out uh, due to this upturn is uh, uh, coming from the weak localization effect. And uh, the, this onset of uh, uh, resistance uh, determines the uh, kind of onset of uh, uh, fluctuation. Although the, uh, in this particular case, the uh, contact was not so good, the, the signal to noise ratio is too bad, but uh, uh, we are managed to de determine the uh, uh, HC2. Also, uh, you are able to uh, 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 determine this cross point uh, of the, uh, 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 as a, the uh, for the uh, uh, another definition of the uh, onset of uh, fluctuation. And the uh, important thing is that in the uh, very textbook like uh, uh, amorphous metallic superconductors, this all these curves crosses with just one point. This is a, a very uh, somehow nice uh, 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 appearance of the quantum uh, phase transition in the disordered system. But uh, in the somehow relatively clean system, you frequently encounter this type of multiple crossing point. This is really uh, somehow uh, uh, was a problem for us how to understand this behavior. So then this is a summary of our analysis. So these are onset of fluctuation uh, coming from uh, obtained from the RT curve, and the uh, uh, crossing point of the uh, in the uh, magneto resistance curve was uh, in the, in these red points, and this is the uh, uh, mean field uh, HC2 uh, determined by the UD uh, scaling, and this is all uh, 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 crossover uh, uh, from a quantum to thermal creep, uh, which was shown in this paper. So now you know that the even in the, uh, uh, the uh, outside the mean field uh, magnetic field, uh, HC2, the, uh, you see a very large kind of fluctuation of superconductivity. Maybe this is uh, somehow a very well known as a muscle of lurking fluctuation, but uh, the data indicates that this region, the quantity, uh, quality of the fluctuation is seemingly very different. So this is the uh, obstacle, uh, how to understand this, uh, this uh, fluctuation region. But in, in a, two, uh, a couple of years ago, the Chinese group, Peking University group, uh, published a very nice paper uh, that the, uh, they also observed the uh, uh, multiple crossing points uh, uh, in the uh, mb grown uh, gallium trilayers. With this, uh, they uh, applied the uh, quantum Griffith theory, uh, Griffith theory on disordered magnets to uh, superconductivity. With this, uh, they are able to, uh, they uh, draw this type of phase diagram. We, they call it, uh, also this one, they call it a gr uh, quantum Griffith phase. So uh, the question is, uh, what is what, what this is? So the important thing is that uh, of this phenomena is the uh, uh, divergence of critical exponent. The, uh, in, in our case, zirconium nitride chloride, we saw also a very nice uh, dispersion, beha uh, dispersive beha uh, di di divergent behavior uh, of uh, Z nu, uh, of the critical exponent, uh, toward the uh, uh, very uh, toward this magnetic field. So this uh, the uh, the point of this quantum Griffith space uh, uh, transition is that in this uh, particular. Uh, the in these regions, there appears the rare ordered region. 
in uh, this is a case of the uh, ma ma magnets, but in our case, uh, this v rare region should be regarded as a metallic uh, superconducting droplets with the uh, with the vortices. So let us uh, draw another phase di uh, new phase diagram for whole whole phase diagram of 2D superconductors. So this is a mean field at HC2. This is a crossover point from a quantum metal to a thermal creep. And this region, uh, uh, thermally induced superconducting region, is a kind of uh, uh, thermal excitation of single Cooper pairs. But at the low temperature, the, the, uh, the, there is a uh, quantum Griffith space, which we can regard as the excitation, th uh, a th a thermal fluctuation of the uh, uh, superconducting droplets, th which is very different uh, from the uh, thermally induced superconducting fluctuation. If you look at these uh, characters, you realize that the quantum effect appears only in the very low temperature region, uh, which uh, gradually changes from quantum metals to, to uh, quantum Griffith space. And uh, this is the, uh, could be, uh, uh, we'd like to propose, this could be a very somehow, uh, 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 some intrinsic uh, uh, phase diagram or common uh, phase diagram in the highly crystalline 2D superconductors. With this, I would like to conclude. Uh, we first introduce you uh, uh, electric double layer transistor, and the, uh, we uh, explained that uh, with this technique, we realized highly crystalline to the superconductors, and uh, proposed the new phase diagram of this uh, relatively clean to the superconducting systems. I would like to thank uh, two important colleagues, uh, my, my PhD student Saito, and uh, Professor Nojima from Tohoku University, who is uh, in the audience. Thank you very much for your kind invitation. <laughs> Thank you very much for this beautiful talk, which is now open for questions.